increase in plastic waste materials, recording some 3 million tons of plastic waste materials on an annual basis, with the number growing by 5% each year. Currently, the rate in which plastic materials are being recycled is below 17%, with the rest of the plastic being reclaimed or incinerated. Environmental pollution, second pollution, and some accidents account for this phenomenon. Under such circumstances, developing a safer and more economical method of waste treatment is one of the most urgent tasks the country is faced with. Located at Cheongnam in Korea, the emulsification facility uses various waste plastics to extract high-quality oil through the non-catalytic cold pack liquid pyrolysis reaction theory. The facility consists of pretreatment equipment, feeding and discharging, an oil refining facility, product storage, disassembling, extracting, and other incidental equipment. Different kinds of waste plastic collected are gathered at the weighing stand to be stored in the material storage room. Then, mixed plastic is crushed into appropriate sizes in the disintegrator to be stored and processed later. The crushed waste plastic is transferred to the input hopper through the incline conveyor to be supplied to the reactor via a feeder. The material can be fully supplied without the distilled gas being discharged outside of the facility. The waste plastic is melted and pyrolyzed within the reactor to be turned to a gaseous state and transferred to the heat exchanger to be cooled through the opening at the upper part of the facility. The distilled gas that is cooled is then transferred to low pressure oil gas separator and sludge. The leftover material of the pyrolyzing process is drained through the sludge port at the lower part of the facility. Oil thinned and separated by a low pressure oil gas separator under low temperature is stabilized and treated under extracting and washing water to be put into a distiller. Oil heated in the distiller is then placed in the fractionation tower to be separated according to the difference in boiling points. In other words, gasoline is extracted from the upper layer, light diesel oil from the middle layer, and heavy diesel oil from the very bottom layer. The material goes through the process of stripping in the stripping tower and is cooled in the heat exchanger to be stored in the tank as a final product. Also, the gas extracted from the very upper section of the low pressure oil gas separator is used as fuel for the reactor and distiller. The rest of the gas is burned up in the flare stack. We are equipped with additional facilities such as a cooling tower supplying cold water, an oil separator preventing leakage of oil materials, a boiler producing steam for processing and heating, and an air compressor producing condensed air for instruments. For the process of treating waste plastic, instruments and electrical equipment is controllable through a desktop type MMI that allows concentrated inspection and distribution management. The electrical room consists of control PLC, hydroelectricity, electric power supply equipment and control panels. The plants treat waste plastic, vinyl, oil and other types of waste materials normally difficult to treat contributing to the prevention of environmental pollution and efficient usage of resources. The refined oil produced from the process has been proved to be fully satisfying the standards of worldwide oil products. Royco will help Korea to realize its dreams of being an oil producing country.